good. It, it, it was well. really okay. fierce. Trust me, everyone, it was fierce. But it, it's about her and getting her ready and making her feel beautiful and celebrating her more than us dancing and over choreographing it. So yeah. I think that's why he said, let I want to see moment. those old videos of what you guys were doing. Oh, oh my, God. Man. I, my phone, I had to like, I was like, my phone is on overkill because I would just video everything because, you know, then the next day he'd come in and be like, I have a new idea. And I'm like, oh God, I, 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 I have to remember the video. video. Oh no. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of signature styles, you know, um, Paula brought up that you have Brian Adams who wrote the music for this. And it's, you know, I definitely hear some of heaven in you and I, and I hear oh, some of yeah. to you and oh, Rodeo yeah. Drive, and um, you know, I, I'm wondering, do you do you sing those songs? There's so much flexibility in them. Do you sing them the same way any two nights in a row? I mean, especially you, Orfe, you are wailing and riffing on Rodeo Drive. Never the same. Never the, Never the same. same. I don't tend to do eight shows the same ever. No. And it's really because I'm trying to flex different muscles in my vocal cords, at least that's what I tell everybody. <laughs> but uh, I, I think with this sort of a score, you have a lot of freedom. Because I'm not in... Freedom! You, exactly. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I would never ruin the integrity of a group number. I'm not going to go rogue when I'm singing with everybody. But when I have my, my Rodeo moment. Drive moment, I get to play in, in holes. It's not, I'm never changing the melody of the verses. I won't do that, because I would never do something like that. But in the holes, and also because the other day somebody asked me if my high note was tracked, and that really pissed me off. So ever since that, I was like, as if I'd ever be tracked. Meaning that they play it that instead they, of In other words, it. that it was fake and someone was pressing a button, I was going, so then she sang it so higher. I sang it higher the next night, and then the night after that, I completely changed it. I was, I'll show you tracked. I'll show you tracked. But I also think that it's, it, it keeps, it, look, listen, I'm very, very, always very, first and foremost, concerned with my cast. I care how they feel and how much fun we're having. We're doing this eight times a week, come hell or high water. So most of the times what I do is just to be a, 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 a jerk for my cast. So that when I come off stage, you go, I can't believe you did that. It's to keep it fresh for us, because you guys don't know I'm not doing that eight times a week, unless you come every night, and I don't think you can. But uh, literally, it's so they can have fun, it's so we can keep it fresh, so it's so when someone's schlepping in on a matinee and they have a stomach bug, it's so they have a little bit more fun that day. Honestly, I do it because I'm just such a good person. <laughs> you're, giving your, you're giving to your friends. You're doing it for my cast. But I really, the kid that asked me if my note was tracked, I, mm, mm, Mm -mm. Run, child, run. <laughs> I'm coming for you. Speaking yeah. of singing to the rafters, Miss Allison Black, wow. <laughs> so the night I was there, the applause was absolutely thunderous and, and deservedly so. Have you been surprised by the reaction to that role? I to that moment? I have been surprised, but I hear, are you tracked as well? <laughs> From... Oh, I know that's That's his Broadway, you, people. You, We're you doing it for real. Oh, I got that two days ago. Someone was like, is she, is she really singing? Are you singing live? Absolutely. Every, every that night. That just means you're flawless. So, so I, I think I'm more surprised because people don't expect the opera in general right. to come in, in out of. In the middle of, of Brian's score, yeah, right? Absolutely. I think that's where I see people when I do gaze through my mask. I see more people being like, what, is this really an opera going on? Oh, okay. Oh, she's singing more. Got it. So I think that's more the surprise that I see more in the audience. It's just, it's a beautiful moment. I think it's, the costumes are gorgeous, the moment. It's what I honestly feel people are waiting for is that opera scene to see how it's going to work on stage. Because it's so iconic in the movie. I just remember, actually in the movie they do three arias from La Traviata, not, not two, which I'm doing in the show. But I think yes, people are waiting for that. Just Okay, yeah. But people are waiting for the opera scene, so I feel a sense of responsibility every night, and I just love doing it. I just love doing doing that 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 opera scene. It's just I think it's beautiful. And everyone loves you for it, really. That's yes. the truth. Before we wrap, there is one audience reaction I am supremely curious about. I was there the night that the Marshall family and Miss Julia Roberts was in oh, the audience. Was the best. And she was smiling her face off. I and you know, that's a hard thing to come see a role, you know, 
that you made and, and all those things, but she, I saw her go up on stage with you guys. I'm wondering if you can share what, what it was like to go on stage knowing she was there and, and what she said to you guys afterwards. What was that experience of meeting her? Well, some of us didn't know. Uh -huh. No, everyone, everyone knew when we were forbidden to tell Samantha. Oh, forbidden. Yeah. Did you know? I did not you, know. Do you know what I'm like, like for a group of actors to keep a secret from a castmate? Well, especially, I think it was on Instagram, too. So we were like, nobody, I, I remember like running around by Someone stage, like, stole nobody her phone, let Samantha so see a phone. Yeah, it was we insane. Were, I was like, no. Remember, I was like, you oh, guys know, oh my God. God. don't tell me. And then she oh, Allison like, was one of two people who How, yeah. dare, you? how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> but yeah, and then I saw her. I was like, oh, 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 oh God, she's here. She was so, you guys, she was so, so nice. sweet. But this is what I loved about it. She walked back. She was so lovely. I mean, she pointed everyone out, um, or Faye, uh, Andy, Sarah, and she was like, and where is that opera singer? She like, was where waiting is the opera for us. Singer? Yeah, she where, knows. Where she knows. She but goes, what I loved so much is, you know, I think what I love so much about the film and, and especially Julia Roberts and I mean Samantha Barks who is just my yeah. like, is there's something that you just can't act and it's that that charming, like giddy, like sexy but doesn't know that she's sexy and is kind of goofy, like that balance. Well when Julia came backstage you know, we had photographers taking pictures, and she sits right in the middle of all of us. And I'm literally like kneeling down by her, and I have like my hands on her lap. And I'm like, oh my God, hi, Julia. She's like, yeah, come closer. And the the one photographer takes our picture, and then another photographer is coming up the ladder to take a picture. And she goes, no. What are you gonna get that the other guy didn't get? <laughs> and I was like, there she is, you know, just that like her personality, it, it just shined through. And I was like, and that's why we love her. So that was a cool moment. Amazing. Well, thank you all so much for being here. Yeah. They have a show to get to because they have a meeting performance tonight, so thank you so much. Be sure to see Pretty Woman at the Theater Lander Theater on Broadway. You can follow them at Pretty Woman on Twitter.